Hey guys, I'm Carrie West, and allow me to take you back in time to a prehistoric era. Hundreds of billions of years ago, a time of steam engines and bell-bottom pants. A time when volcanoes covered the earth. A time before autofocus, when single-celled life had to manually adjust aperture and focus to shoot cave street photography instead of relying on magical electronic connections to their full-frame rock cameras. This is the Laowa 100mm f2.8 2x macro lens and we'll be using it outside of its use case and outside of my comfort zone to take today's crop of substandard out of focus images. So sit back in your antique chair designed for invertebrates next to your wood burning stove and enjoy the video. Being that this lens was a manual only lens, I decided naturally to shoot it wide open to make it even more difficult for myself, which means there was no throwing the camera up to my eye, quickly focusing and getting an image. I really had to take my time. I used the compression of the longer focal length as much as I could to help make the images a little more interesting, but this was a really difficult day. I was disappointed with most of the images, but I had a good time and it made me really think differently as I was shooting. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for the pug in this video, because if you're the first one to find it, I'll wash your socks uh, with my mouth and, and soap. As you can see here, this image is pretty out of focus. Even with peaking turned on on the Sony, I was just unable to really nail it unless I really cropped in, which would pretty much double or triple the time it would take to take each photo. found myself gravitating towards non-moving subjects even more than usual just because it was the only thing that I could really take my time with. This is probably one of my favorites. I love the range of emotions perceived plus all the different layers sort of make it an interesting photo to look at in my opinion. I've been wanting to hold the camera out in front of me and use the, the screen a little bit more so you can see it on the GoPro, but this was just not the lens to do that with at all. I ended up using the viewfinder and even then a lot of the images were just out of focus. Nice vests, guys. Okay. Kind of like this one, but I do wish the subject stood out a little bit more. I think she kind of gets lost within the rest of the chaos. What's the point of a macro lens if not to take a couple macro shots every now and then? I really loved the light in here, but again, I wish the subject stood out a little bit more. It might be a spot that I come back to though, just because it's like a bare, empty room. It really creates for some nice, clean photos.
It was really nice to take a step back and be a real photographer for an afternoon. As we all know, if you rely on autofocus, you're not a real photographer. Actually, that's not true. If you can't shoot without a camera, you're not a real photographer. Real photographers don't need a camera. This was a bit of a happy accident. This guy really matched the scene. I thought it worked really well, even though I didn't realize it until later. I like this spot, and I actually waited a couple minutes for somebody to come by, but everybody that came by didn't really show up in the frame, so it's a spot I might have to try out again at another time. This little area is really cool and there's a lot of cool reflections to be had in here but since I was using such a long lens I kind of was limited but I'm gonna have to come back here with a wider lens. I'm actually really excited for summer because it's gonna warm up and allow a lot more of these flying city rats to come back. They're fun to photograph. Really boring subject matter, but I kind of like shots like this, especially post sunset, because it allows you to really play with the light in Photoshop. I like this one. I wish I would have taken my time with it a little bit more and moved slightly to the left to allow his silhouette to sit perfectly underneath that light, but I think it's pretty cool as is, especially with the reflective light from the curved window in front of him. Kind of follow this guy for a minute. It's pretty rare to see somebody wearing all white, and it was nice to put him against some interesting dark backgrounds. I often stray away from street photography when I'm out shooting. Sometimes just textures and lights just catch my eye. They're always really fun to shoot. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and uh, hop back in the time machine and come back to present day. And if not, then uh, if I can stay there and get eaten by a dinosaur or a something from a long time ago that I'm running out of ideas for. But I'll see you guys in the next one.